Hey guys, Mr. AJ's Tech here, and we're unboxing the new MacBook Pro. This is the Retina display model, and uh, as you can see, we have the Apple logo, the MacBook Pro, um, pretty much a standard box. It looks a lot like the MacBook Air, um, but we're going to go ahead and unbox this beast. So I did purchase this directly after WWDC 2012, and uh, anyways, let's go ahead and slice into the box. And uh, this uh, MacBook Pro is really just incredible. So we're just going to pull up right out of the box. On the right side, we have a USB 3.0 port, a HDMI slot, and an SD. The new MacBook Pro is only 0.71 inches thick, where the MacBook Air is 0.68 inches. On the left side, we have a MagSafe 2.0, two Thunderbolt ports, USB 3.0, and a headphone jack. Inside the box, we find the common literature, which has a hello, um, all that info, Apple stickers, and the microfiber cleaning cloth. Now this also has MagSafe 2.0, which actually does not support older MacBook Pro uh, devices. So we're just going to go ahead and peel off the plastic right there. That's a satisfying moment. And one thing I noticed was interesting is the MacBook Pro is actually engraved right in the back. So we're going to go ahead and open the lid and then take off that plastic over the screen. One thing to note is that the power button is now an actual physical keyboard key, which is very interesting because they got that from the MacBook Air. Now there's also speakers going around, the trackpad, and uh, speakers on the right. So we're going to go ahead and power on this beast. This has a 256 gigabyte drive, but it's also configurable up to 768 gigabyte of solid state memory. So initially I noticed that the Retina display on this thing is really great. It looks super high quality, just like the iPad 3. So we're just going to scroll down right there and hit start using Mac OS X. The first time you start up, it's going to want you to log into iCloud. This beast rocks a 2.3 gigahertz Core i7, which is quad core and has turbo boost up to 3.3 gigahertz. This also has 16 gigabytes of 1600 megahertz DDR3 RAM. This also has an Intel HD graphics 4512 megabytes of RAM and it also has a one gigabyte uh, dedicated graphics card. Right away, I noticed the super high quality retina display. It really does look amazing. Now it is a little annoying when it comes to some apps because some of them aren't updated for the retina display. Overall, this MacBook Pro has been amazing. It's super quick with the solid state drive and with 16 gigabytes of RAM, this computer is amazing. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. So rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>